What is your process for determining a worthwhile investment, and what advice would you give to startups looking for investors? I think first and foremost, look at the team and the people that are actually launching that company, and really try to understand why they're starting a company. Having started a company myself, I mean, it is hard, <laughs> and so really try to understand, you know, is he or she really on a mission? or are they more on the mercenary side? Because we certainly focus on investing in people in the former. I think secondly, really understanding what is the problem that they're trying to solve with their product or their vision, and is that pain point really a painkiller or a vitamin? Uh, just, again, from my own experience, it is very difficult to, to sell vitamins. You really want to sell painkillers. And so I think that, and so while we have certain perspectives in different markets, I think ultimately it's a bet on the people. And this is certainly, I'm referring to venture stage investing. Because you start when you start a company, you have a set of assumptions, and until your product's out in the market, you can't really validate or invalidate those assumptions. And so, I think teams that effectively get that feedback from customers and iterate on the product tend to be more successful. And you mentioned the fact that you've started a couple of companies, and you've got an extensive background in engineering. At what point did you decide to turn to investment investing, and what drove that decision? Sure. So it wasn't like I woke up one morning and was like, "Hey." I I want to be a venture capitalist. Um, I think it was over a continuum of time. I mean, my, the first half of my career, as you put it, I started a couple of companies, uh, ended up raising north of $100 million across those companies. And while I was really appreciative of those investors, I always kind of felt like I wish I'd had an investor who could help me as a founder CEO. And in particular, one investor of mine who's an angel in composite software, Rajiv Matwani, uh, really showed me that there was a role for being an investor and actually being helpful. Um, and he subsequently got me into advising uh, and investing, and so became an advisor at Jawbone, an angel investor in Cloudera. And I really started getting exposed to uh, the notion that, A, I, in certain areas I could be helpful, but secondly, I also could really empathize what he or she was going through as they were building that company. And so uh, I kind of came to a, not really a conclusion, but, hey, you know, it actually be really fun eventually to focus on helping entrepreneurs go build their, their businesses and felt like as someone who have seen that as well as scaled companies that that might be a useful uh, skill set to have for, entre for entrepreneurs. That's interesting. So tell me about the people and projects you're following these days. What are you finding personally, professionally exciting? Sure. Uh, I have a pretty wide range of interests. I think a lot of my side projects, side projects being things I'm writing on the side in software, tend to be around computer vision. Um, I really feel like uh, we're on the, the really beginning slopes of some real advances there, uh, and it's just amazing what you can do on an iPhone with some some uh, libraries that are publicly available. I'm also really interested in the microbiome. It's remarkable that you know that if you look at the DNA in your body, only one percent is actually yours. Ninety-nine percent is bacteria, and I think we're starting to see these correlations between you know the intestinal flora. Uh, in your in intestines and in different disease states. I actually think from a medicine perspective, that's quite interesting. That's a pretty wide spectrum there. Right. Uh, but I think for me, it all comes back to the data. I mean, if you look at the microbiome, what's interesting there is that, you know, as the cost of sequencing has gone now below $1,000, we're like, we can imagine a world where maybe someday we will have a smart toilet uh, and in medicine will not be, let's use antibiotics like a WMD and blow everything out. Let's actually garden our... Uh, our microbiome and our intestinal flora. Right, it's interesting. Thank you very much for talking with well, me. Well, thank today. you for having me.